and record. So we are live on all platforms. Well, technically, not live there, but that's fine. It will be live when it goes, gets uploaded. It's fine. Doesn't matter. Hi. Welcome to the quarantined version of the Life Sucks podcast. I am Miranda, your host, and I will be bringing you some, I would like to say, common sense basics for quarantine and avoiding the COVID-19 virus. Um, As you guys know, I do have a medical and mental health background, so I am just hoping to bring you guys a little bit of sanity in what can be the pandemic panic. Um, I know you guys have probably heard a lot of craziness. Um, A lot of uh, people hoarding toilet paper, people buying up all of the hand sanitizer available in every store imaginable, um, and all the disinfectant wipes. Um, some of us use those because we have toddlers who still poop in their pants, and I really don't appreciate it. Really, I don't. Um, but still, uh, let's start with some basics. Um, social distancing. Please, 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 please abide by your local, state, federal, county, town social distancing and gathering stay at home quarantine regulations um please if it's so much as adhere to the federal social distancing which means maintain six foot distancing while you're out and about um if you feel the need to cough please cover it in your elbow, Um, stay away from at-risk individuals, those who are 60 and up, and anyone who is immunocompromised, please go out wearing a mask. If you feel that you are ill, please wear a mask in public, Um, or better yet, don't go out. No, my good little bed. That's fine, but go to bed. Uh, the joys of being a mom to a three-year-old. Um, let's see. What else is there? Uh, wash your hands with soap and water for approximately 20 seconds. I have taught Micah to wash his hands and sing the ABCs. He's quite good at it. Um, An important thing is hands to face contact. I feel like this is one that is not being spoken about enough. Yes, the washing hands is a big deal, but also whatever you're touching, you don't want to bring it in contact with your face. Um, That time between hand washings is also going to be a time that you're going to bring whatever you're in contact with on your face, and that's going to be the dangerous point. A lot of what is important in the hospitals and the medical field right now and what they are lacking is face shields because they want to prevent themselves from touching their face. Um, For some of them it makes it worse, for others it's a preventative, it just depends on their own preference, but it's still one of those face masks that they are missing. So, that being said, wash your hands with soap and water. Hand sanitizer is effective in a pinch, but it is actually technically bad as far as herd immunity goes. Hand sanitizer is not as effective. Um, So, that is something that is important to know. If you have the option, soap and water is in fact better 
than hand sanitizer. It is better for the community and herd immunity because hand sanitizer will become less and less effective as bacteria becomes more and more immune. Um, fun fact. Uh, also, if we are maintaining our stay at home, I have some fun tips for people to enjoy social activities from a distance. Um, obviously we all have technology and digital means to enjoy each other's company. Um, we can of course uh, chat and have our digital happy hours um, vis-a-vis FaceTime, Zoom, Facebook chat, uh, or I guess it's Messenger now, wow, aging myself. Um, there's dinner dates. People are doing um, their own individual dinners and having conversation via their desired chat and or call avenue. Um, let's see. Netflix dates. I just got off a video chat in which one of our members mentioned that she had a Netflix date yesterday. They started their Netflix at the exact same time and FaceTimed through the whole thing and enjoyed their movie together. Um, what was another one I recently came across? Somebody is doing a virtual bingo where they are sending out cards and um, they are uh, ordering online from local restaurants and whoever gets bingo with the receipts for the local restaurants wins a gift card, apparently. So there's lots of uh, interesting ways for us to all socially gather and not be alone during this. Um, those who are members of local churches, my church personally is doing like a drive through Sunday school where we can pick up our individual communion, communion to go things. I used to make fun of them once upon a time, but I now see their necessity. Um, and I can pick up my son's classroom activities and do them with him at home. Um, and all of our services and stuff are online. We can chat with each other online, which is distracting during the sermon, I admit. I don't really participate with the chatting, but it's still the community that you can be a part of if that's your choice. Um, or there's other things. I'm sure there's something similar out there that isn't religious um, that people can be a part of and join. There's Twitch. Pretty similar, actually. You view and chat and participate online. So any kind of streaming, realistically, that you can be a part of and enjoy and chat and just be a part of a community. Um, we may be physically isolated, but we are not alone and we don't have to be alone. So my point in all of this is be safe. Um, wash your hands. Don't touch your face. Stay away from other people. Please, for the love of God, follow the guidelines set in wherever you live. Don't be stupid. And find a way to still be with your friends. Because we still need each other. So, this is Miranda. And I'm going to go tend to my very needy three-year-old. So, see you guys next time.